Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO X3 Pro, also known as YU and Bhima. Now this particular ROM will work on both the devices, that is YU and Bhima. Most of you have that question, so don't worry. Both the phones will support this particular ROM. And today we are talking about pure, stable Android 12 for the POCO X3 Pro based on the Pixel 5 ROM. And we're going to do a quick review on it. We're going to see the benchmark numbers. We'll see what is working and what is not. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because we upload custom ROM content every single day. And if you have one of the devices we support, you will really, really love the possibilities of your phone. And if you think you like chatting with people who have the same devices but try different custom ROMs, well, you can join us on Telegram, Instagram, Facebook or even Twitter. Follow us there because we are pretty active there as well. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see what do we have here a mac port project so the brand is google model is pixel 5 android version 12 build id is this and the build date is the 24th of october 2021 and it comes with the october security patch now it says change log google side stuff search yourself added back refresh rate options and 60 hertz options for battery saver bugs are present over here random glitches while using apps ui blackout for 0.01 seconds google now playing might kill audio hall randomly so keep it off note back up your important data before flashing the port use only latest TWRP from here this is the md5 sum you can go ahead and support this group by donating them if you can because that is going to be really really neat and really really exciting now the first thing that we'll talk about this particular rom is the moment you boot into this particular rom the first thing that you see on the screen is your home or the launcher. So if you go to about, of course, this is a pure Android version ROM. That means you do get your Pixel launcher, which does have things like notification dots at a glance, add app icons to home screen, swipe to access Google app, that is the Google Discover feed, overview suggestions, suggestions, search your phone, allow home screen rotation and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and enable or disable all those advanced features. Now to the left, of course, you have your Google Now feed, which works like a charm. By the way, I do have the 120 Hertz mode enabled. And that is the reason you see this level of smoothness. And once again, to all the guys who've been watching my videos and telling me that the problem that I mention always in MIUI ROMs that the Google Discover feed is stuttering is not a ROM related issue. Look at this. This is the same POCO X3 Pro on a port ROM and it is working like a charm. Even if I refresh it for that matter, just have a look at it. Yes, it did refresh, right? But I don't see any stutter whatsoever. Now you're greeted with a very, very clean UI. This ROM doesn't really come with a lot of bloatware. Most of the applications that you see here are the apps that I have installed. And from the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles, which has access to your privacy tiles as well. You do have a screen recorder. We will talk about that. You have stuff like mic access, camera access, location access, right? And then you have dark theme, you have extra dim, you have bedtime mode, all the other advanced options. So if you actually go ahead and disable location, there you go. That is there. And then you can go ahead and disable camera access. You can disable mic access. Say for example, you open the recorder application. And as you can see over here, you will get this particular dot or this particular notific notification stating that camera, mic or location is being used by a particular application. Google takes privacy very seriously in Android 12 and that is something we see implemented very well over here. Now, apart from this, if you go ahead and look at other quick tiles, you do have screen recorder as I mentioned earlier and you have screen casting as well, right? So let's quickly go to screen recorder over here. You have the option of using device audio and microphone and click on start. You get a timer over there and bam, the recording starts. So even when the screen is being recorded, the UI is very, very smooth. I don't really see any stutters or any, you know, issues with the screen recording. So you can go ahead and stop that. There you go. The recording has been stopped. Now let's go ahead and play this recording real quick using Google Photos. Right. So it is smooth, but I think it is stuttery you can go ahead and you know wait or maybe try a third party screen recorder so while recording it was smooth but while playing back stuff it was not smooth 
and at the bottom you have the google search bar with quick access to your google assistant and google lens and you have your standard app drawer over here you do have the option of always show keyboard over here now something that i did say in the redmi k20 pro video of octavio os i will mention the same thing over here that the material u magic is working like a charm over here because not only it is working in the whole ui but it is also working with google apps for example if you actually go to calculator you see the theme is being followed if you actually go to calendar just go ahead and skip this part you will see that the theme is being followed completely over here so that is something really neat and in android 12 one of the other things that i've liked is the app icon animations just see how smooth they are now trust me i'll tell you if somebody has a pixel device i'm pretty sure the experience will be as cohesive as you know ios 15 or ios 15.1 the smoothness is just next level so you know pretty good job there by google and developers porting this particular rom to the poco x3 pro they have done an excellent job as well now if you go to the multitasking menu you do have the screenshot option over here as you can see there you have it you can go ahead and edit right and again you have the other option of select as you can see it works like a charm and even the multitasking menu is butter smooth as i stated if you click over here you have split screen option which works really really great you don't have any issues with split screen at all right now that's everything about the ui and the initial impressions of the front or you know the user interface now if you go to settings over here see how quickly it opens see how neatly it is organized in android 12 and with this particular rom i'm not had any major major issues so in network and internet you have your usual stuff of having wi-fi you can go ahead and disconnect and reconnect you can share this using a qr code you have the five gigahertz working fine auto reconnect is something you can enable or disable so that is there you have your wi-fi preferences turn on wi-fi automatically and save networks and stuff like that under mobile network if you go to the bottom you will have a wi-fi calling right now i don't really have a sim card inserted so i don't have that option active but otherwise it is working fine under apps you have all the additional options like assistant screen time unused apps and special app access you can go ahead and check that and in notification you have beautiful things like notification history which is going to be really really useful for you if you use this device as your personal daily driver now you have device app and notifications notifications on lock lock screen you can go ahead and control that over here so basically as far as notifications and privacy is concerned google has really stepped up the game they have really paid a lot of attention to this particular detail and it shows in android 12 now moving on if you go to battery you have battery usage adaptive preferences you can show the battery percentage and if you talk about the battery usage as you can see i've been using this phone doing all sorts of testing for you guys and the battery backup has been pretty pretty decent so is the charging speed i've not had any issues with the charging speed now if you go to sound and vibration you do have all the usual stuff basic options nothing advanced there under display you have the option to enable and disable the dark theme and you can go ahead and set the maximum refresh rate to 90 and minimum to 60 and you can also increase the touch sensitivity i would recommend you to increase touch sensitivity while gaming and stuff which brings me to our next topic so if you just search game over here you will get an option called game settings which will allow you to enable game dashboard so then if you go ahead and say launch a particular game just go to the multitasking menu and come back and bam you have your fps counter you have your screen recorder you have your screenshot option as you can see right so you can go ahead and record the screen and you have all the advanced options like do not disturb fps and stuff like that and it works really really well now the only thing that i've not tried in android 12 is actually going live directly using the phone now moving on you have this customization menu of wallpaper and style where you have different color combinations as you can see over here right and if you go ahead and say change the wallpaper say to something yellowish select home and lock screen just have a look it definitely changes the ui color and it really really works like a charm so that is something good to see that everything is working smooth as butter and there are no issues at all now you have accessibility you have security in which you have pixel imprint that is your fingerprint scanner which works absolutely fine 
you have control on your location you know preferences you have passwords and account you have google settings and then you have system and you have about phone so all in all if you ask me this pixel 5 port for the poco x3 pro is working really really well they are doing a pretty good job with this particular port there might be some bugs here and there i'm not saying there won't be bugs but let's talk about the performance numbers and let's see the cpu throttle test first now unfortunately as you can see the average throttle score is really really low the cpu throttle to 63 percent so that is not so good and the phone was you know completely cool 31 degrees on the battery when i ran this benchmark even if you actually go to geekbench you will see a similar story over here 756 single core and 2547 multi-core right and if you further go to antutu over here as you can see the score is 560,461. So at least in Android 2, the score is pretty decent, but in other two applications, the score is not that great. So what I can say is from a daily driver point of view, this ROM is pretty decent. You can definitely go ahead and use it. But if you're a hardcore gamer and you need high FPS, well, probably I'll do a gaming review and I'll test how good or bad the gaming performance is. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a gaming review on this particular port or not. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.